focus on how to do vector addition algebraically. So it's very different from how to do vector addition graphically. Uh, there is a lot of algebra involved in this with several steps to it. A lot of it is calculator-based problems, so do make sure that you at least have a scientific calculator handy in order to input into the formulas necessary here. So we're going to add the following two vectors. So vector A, which has a 50 units distance going at a 23.4 degree angle, along with adding it to vector B, which is 20 units long, going 71.2 degrees in direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to add these two vectors together. And when we get our result to vector, we do need to keep in mind that it has to have the two pieces attached to it. It has to have its distance, and it also has to find its angle. And that's going to come from plugging it into these two formulas right over here. R represents the distance for the result in vector, and theta is the angle, the direction in which it is going to. So this is a four-step process. So step one is going to be to find the x and y components of uh, these two vectors that we have. So for vector A, we need to find the x and y component of it. For vector B, we also need to find the x and y component for that. So I typically just label them x1, y1, and then x2, y2. Otherwise, it's just a matter of plugging directly into the respective formulas. So x1 should look like, well, 50 is r. So this would be 50 cosine, and theta is the 23.4. Then we would find the y component using vector a. So that would be 50 sine of 23.4. And go ahead and put that in for vector B over here. X2 would be 20 cosine uh, 71.2. And Y2 would be 20 sine 71.2. Otherwise, plug these into the calculator in order to figure out what they represent. So X1 would be, using your scientific calculator, 50 cosine 23.4, I'm getting 45.89 if we round to two decimal places here. And Y1 would be 50 sine 23.4, giving us 19.86. Go ahead and plug and chug X2 and Y2, so that would be 20 cosine 71.2, giving X2 a 6.45 and y2 would be 20 sine 71.2, making that 18.93. So that's what the x and y components of these two vectors would be. But step two, we need to add the uh, x components together. So you want to take x1 and add it together with x2 here. So if, or you can use your calculator. Well, all we're going to do is we're going to take 45.89 and add it to 6.45. And we're going to call that xr when we add those together. So when we add x1 plus x2, we get 52.34. Now we need to find yr, which is going to be when we take y2 plus, I mean y1 plus y2, which would look like 19.86 plus 18.93. So yr would equal to 38.79. So that would be step three. So step one, plugging the two vectors into your x and y formulas here. Step two, add xrs together. Step three, get your yr by adding the two y's together. Step four is now going to be to plug into our two formulas down here so that we can get our final answer. So our r here, so let's plug into this formula. That would be the square root of xr squared, so that is 52.34 squared, plus yr, so that's 38.79 squared. So we do need to follow order of operations in order to simplify this down. So I would recommend squaring them first. So we need to take 52.34 squared. We'll then do 38.79 squared. We will add them together and then find the square root. So we would need to do 52.34 times 52.34, and that would give us um, 2739.4. 4, 8, and we need to add that to, well, 38.79 times 38.79, and 
and that's going to give us 1504.66. So when we add that together, so 2739.48 plus 1504.66, I'm getting uh, the square root of 4244.14. So the last thing that we would do is we would find the square root of that, and when we plug that into the calculator, I am getting 65.15. Now that represents my R, that's half of my solution. This gives me the distance. Now I need to find the direction here. So what I'm gonna do, so our theta, our direction is gonna come from finding the arc tangent of YR over XR. Well, we already have those two pieces of information. YR is 38.79, and we're gonna put that over XR, which is 52.34. So I would recommend doing the division first. Do 38.79 divided by 52.34, and that's going to give us the arc tangent of 0.74. And when we calculate this using our calculator, now keep in mind that arc tangent is the same thing as inverse tangent. So depending on your calculators, a lot of times it's the same button as using your tangent. On the particular calculator I'm using, I just have to push tangent twice and that'll give you the arc tangent function. So I'm gonna find the arc tangent of 0 0.74 and that is going to give me 36.5 degrees. So my solution is 65.15 for its distance at a 36.5 degree angle. That would be my resultant vector. Otherwise, that is it for this video.